This video is going to go over how to set up the material design login form for the MDL WP WordPress theme. So of course the first thing you need to do is download it. Once you download it you should have this zip file. You go ahead and unzip that file. You need to open that file and in here you'll see that there's this page-login.php. We need to move this page template into our WordPress theme. So you probably want to FTP this up if you're working on a, a live site, but I'm just working on a dev right now on my local instance. So I'm going to go to WP Content Themes MDLWP and then in my templates folder here, I'm just going to move this page login to there. So now my theme has that special page for this login. So other than that, all we need to do is go into, of course, WP Content Plugins, and then just make sure that you have the plugin installed. So now what we can do is go to our website. So of course you should be using the correct theme. And then in our dashboard, if you go to the plugins, installed plugins, you should have this material design login form plugin now. So what we need to do is activate this. And then once the plugin is activated, we go over to pages. And if you scroll down, you'll notice that it created a couple pages for us. You see here that we have login. And then if we go, depending on how many pages you have, you'll see that we have password and we also have this register. So to get started, what we need to do is go into this login page here. You'll see that it has a short code for us and a parameter called redirect and this is where you want it to redirect after a user logs in. So right now the default is just set to go to the dashboard which is WP admin. You could set it to go any page that you want. But the important part here is to go and set the template to login and then update that and then we need to go to the other pages as well. The password page, we want to set that to login. Notice that it has a password form shortcode as well. And then our last page is the register page. And that is if you're allowing users to register. Notice that it has the registration form. And we need to set that to login. Perfect. So what we can do now is go and just log out of our site here. And you'll see that we have this default form here. It has lost password link and also a register link. You see that it doesn't have any styling really, so we can kind of change that if we want. So we'll just log in. And if we go to pages, all pages again, we can go to login. And you'll see down here that you can set different things for the login form. So the card background color, the card title the card uh, title color and also the height. You can also uh, upload a featured image, say maybe your logo or, or whatever if you don't want to use the title. So let's go ahead and just put some stuff in here so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to leave those default and then we update and we log out again you see that it's that blue and it has a login of black. It's kind of a pain to log back in and out to see it, but it's just what you have to do. So the card title, we can change that to a white so it stands out a little bit more. Let's just adjust the height so you can see what I'm talking about, how that works. Update that. Appearance, log out. You see that the height changed. That's helpful if you upload a featured image. So just to do that real quick, go into login. So I'm just going to put a, some kind of image in here. Let's do this thing here. And I'm going to remove the title because maybe I included the title in my image. And set the height, that's fine. Update that. 
and log out. So you'll notice my images here. If you're wanting to create an image, this, this box is 330 pixels wide. So take that in consideration when you're making a custom image for this. So the next thing we have here is the lost password. And it's the same thing. It doesn't have any uh, styling or title up here. So what you'd have to do is, you know, of course, admin, go to that page, that particular page, uh, password, and then when you scroll down, you should have all the same settings. And you can make it look however you like, different color than the login, custom image, or whatever. So another thing that I want to note on the login page, uh, log out, you'll see here that there's this register link. If you click register, this will allow your users to you know, create a new account. But maybe you don't want them to have that. You don't want to allow users to register. You can actually just turn that off just in settings general. See this checkbox right here, membership, allow anyone to register. Just uncheck that and log out. And you'll see that that register link is gone. So the last thing is the background here and also the color of the button. So this uses both the background of the default site and also the secondary color of whatever you're using for your site. So you can change that in the customizer. So if we go to appearance, customize, and then you go into colors. So notice the primary color, we're currently using blue. I mean, you can change that if you want, to whatever you want. And then our second, our accent color is this pink. And that's why our, our buttons are that pink color. So let's change that to maybe a purple or something. Save and publish that. And then once you log out, you'll notice that the button, the secondary accent color is now purple. So that's an easy way to change that color. So I think that pretty much went over all the different settings of the login form and how to use it. Uh, one thing I want to note though is that these pages, these pages that are created need to stay login and also the slug needs to be login because that's what the plugin looks for. So whatever it created for you, don't change that or, or the plugin won't work. But if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out.